Uh, for the first time, I'm someone speaking from Bangladesh and I do speak Bengali as the first language and English is my second language. I'm someone who is studying international relations at the university. I'm currently a postgraduate student at the University of Chittagong and which is a, it's a very much prestigious public university in Bangladesh. It's my great pleasure that I started speaking out on different social uh, issues uh, as well as the issues about the technology, basically about computer programming on YouTube. Later on, I found that uh, many of the people actually started asking me the very simple question, why are you speaking English on YouTube? Uh, the first uh, reply, can I say, is that, you know, English is the means for global communication today. It is used by almost half of the total world population. And if you'd like to actually get connected with the wider world, English is a must. So, you know, the language of technology today is basically English. So that's the very reason I have started using this very language to get connected with my audiences out there. I never in no way had the expectation to make money on YouTube in no way. But uh, whenever I started focusing on things like computer programming, I said that, you know, I must be actually focusing on other things that are very much related with my discipline in the university. Right. I started speaking out about the women's rights. You know, I'm very much... A, vocal against patriarchy and dowry system for which women in the subcontinent continue to suffer from extensively since the very inception of the uh, evolution of laws against uh, kind of uh, the rules and regulations that have been actually going on for years so the first time i actually started to talk about uh, against uh, patriarchy was that you know uh, there are actually lots of uh, religious social and cultural issues which are pretty much controversial and I like to overlook them to some extent but when we talking about the very realistic point in our society remember that uh, you know patriarchy is the prime uh, uh, responsible or prime criminal behind all the problems that are going on in the society and to some extent we can say that whenever there is any kind of problem in the society uh, you know uh, only the uh, uh, our female counterparts are considered to be the uh, blaming factor they are they are blamed for almost all kinds of things they are blamed for not putting their dresses on proper uh, sit, um, proper styles right there we have got people who always actually try to portray that can the women prove their uh, you know uh, give prove the evidence that you know they are raped or something like this one i mean uh, in parts of the world like north africa and arab countries uh, lots of women have been the you know situations where they were actually given the proof of their virginity by virginity test and you know it was very much painful for them in the indus parts but in parts like uh, india pakistan and bangladesh we have not been in so much a difficult situation uh, at least we can say that women are having wonderful situation but when very recently a uh, a very small girl children of seven year old was raped and subsequently killed and there are a number of uh, raped and then subsequent killing of the raping and the subsequent killing of women and the girls in our country and many girls were also raped uh, after and then they were fired and they were killed in very brute manner so many people are justifying religion, many people are justifying a lot of things. But at the end of the day, why all these things are happening in the society? Remember, everyone is talking about the very reason why. But no one is telling the solutions. There are lots of uh, newspaper articles, there are lots of blogs. But there is no any concrete solutions to these very problems. For the first time, you know, there should have social awareness about these uh, crimes, social ills. And people who are doing this thing, they must be brought to justice as long as the crimes are perpetrated. And you know, when there is a proof, proof from the side of the females who are uh, actually the prime victims of these things, especially uh, they should be actually given the priority in the very first place. And there should also have the evidence for the form so that the male counterparts are not also to some extent victimized in a in new way because in our society when there we have got no other way we especially a part of the portion of the society always try to put forward the women's issue first sexual harassment is a is something 
in which you don't need proof or evidence and you can very easily uh, actually uh, harass any person so it's, it's been going on it's it has been it has happened to the case of a university teacher in our uh, Chittagong uh, a teacher who was actually serving in a private university who was actually a, a teacher of the English department of our university he was somehow actually actually blamed for harassment like this one so these are the things needs to be actually checked out and that's how the problem that's the problem which are very much ingrained in the very core of our society need to be checked out properly so that no any uh, uh, false victimization actually take place uh, takes place in the society it needs to be addressed in such a way and that's how I can actually end of my speech thank you so much for watching this one goodbye for now